What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the Modern Warfare 2 Weapon XP grind for all players. Just be your one-stop shop to get all the information you need to help you progress through those camo and Weapon XP challenges. Just so when Warzone 2 does come out, if you do plan on playing Warzone 2, it's going to make your whole experience a lot better. First off, let's get right into Invasion. With Invasion, you're going to use the Tack Insert. Just, spot, just put your Tack Insert in your bots. It's going to make your whole grind so much easier because the bots are going to have designated spawn locations they're going to come out of the helo just go ahead and destroy just go ahead and eliminate those bots as soon as they come out and then they're just going to keep cycling through and you might get like one or two back to back but just give it time they're going to come by or if you know if you're in their spawn you know you have attack insert down that's where the bots are mostly going to be dropped off at just keep eliminating bots there and you know enemy players can spawn there too so go ahead and get your free licks there for your perk package, I would recommend you use fast hands for faster reload or restock. Just get your lethals and your tacticals back faster. It's just going to make your whole experience better because you can use your lethals to help you get that double kill, which is going to give you more XP later on down the road. For your field upgrade, like I said before, it should definitely be tactical insertion. You can get away with using overclock and running like a DDoS or something along those lines. You can even use a trophy if you really want to, especially if you know, you're know you somewhere kind of posted up and they're throwing grenades and stuff at you. Put that trophy down get you some extra XP, uh, XP that way. So you can also shoot down score streaks. I've seen a lot of people just using rocket launches for this, which is great. You know, that's the whole sole purpose. But you can also get away with using like an AR, LMG, or even a sub or a pistol, depending on what weapon you're using. I don't recommend you use a pistol in Evasion, but it's just for further explanation with that. So if you do shoot down score streaks, it'll give you 100 experience. Um, but if you just help assist with that, you're still going to get... 40 50 experience i can't remember off the top of my head here um and then the most important thing is you have to know when to stay in the lobby and when to back out of the lobby so if you stay in the lobby and you're noticing that the bots are putting on armor that would give me an idea like i have one to two minutes before all bots are armored up and then it's just going to be i'm going to be wasting more of my time trying to eliminate bots with armor than i could just back out and get into a new lobby with bots that are fresh scores really low and bots don't have armor so if you didn't know, around the 1200 point range is when bots start putting on armor. You're going to start having armored uh, helicopters coming and everything. So right around there is when I would start to put in your mind, like, okay, it's getting time for me to kind of back out and get into a fresh lobby. On to the 6v6 aspect. Number one, this is the prime example, right? I'm trying to level up my X12 auto pistol, right? My X13 auto pistol. And that's not a good map for me to try to do that in. So I have to back out and I'm going to find me a better map to do this in, right? And as you can see here, my pistol is only level 10. I'm going to get two more levels out of this gun in just one match. So for my perk package, I'm rocking extra tactical bomb squad, restock, ghost, and my field upgrade is the DDoS with the decoy and the syntax and my riot shield on my back. And I'll explain the riot shield aspects later. The reason I'm rocking the DDoS is there's a meter at the bottom right that's going to give you four techs. It's gonna, they're going to fill in black. And the more devices in, the, in range, the more experience you're going to get. Or if you have enemies nearby that you know, go ahead and pop that DDoS. It's going to give you some passive XP. Super beneficial because all XP is good XP, especially when you're going through the weapon grind. So on to the most controversial topic I've seen lately. People are using decoy grenades, but they're not using them properly. When you're using your decoy grenades, you don't just want to spam throw them all over the map. It's not going to do any benefit for you. And as you can see here in the beginning of the game, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. When you use these decoys, you want to throw them towards your teammates. Because as your teammates get kills near those decoys, then you're also getting the experience. It's like 15 experience per um, decoy strat. Especially if you have three in one area, then it's just going to stack up even more. And I'm not the best player, but I'm using these strats to help me level up these guns. And I'm all done. I'm literally just working on this last pistol. And then I have launchers, riot shield, and my knife. And I'm done. And I'm on uh, platinum. So... To continue further with this, when you see, when you do have this DDoS, it'll tell you if you destroy it, if you disable a Claymore or a Proxmine or, or whatever. When you see that, make sure you're on the look for those so you can go and destroy those. You're going to get XP also for the destruction of those. <clears throat> so, just like I said with Invasion, when you are playing 6v6, whether it's Hardpoint, Domination, Kill Confirmed, if there are square streaks there, you can still shoot those down. It's still going to give you XP. So just keep that in mind, you know, you don't have to destroy them, but just put a couple rounds into it and hopefully your teammate will help you out and, and um, you can get a scrap assist with that. So when you are playing 6v6, 
solo kills are going to give you 100 XP. But if you stack those with double kills and triple kills, you're going to get a 10% kick on top of that also. So you're going to get 220 XP or 240 XP for a double kill, which I'm about to have a double kill coming up here soon, just so you can kind of understand how that whole aspect works. And also, melee kills give you more XP. It's not much, but it's more. I don't know why it's that way, but either way, it's going to make your whole experience 20, 20 times better. And as you can see here, I'm rocking a riot shield on my back. The reason I'm using a riot shield is because it gives you crowd control experience, which if someone shoots you in the back or they miss a couple shots around your head and they're hitting that riot shield, it is going to give you experience with that. But I would recommend that if you are having trouble with like controlling recoil, then just be careful with that <clears throat> because it is going to make your visual recoil rate a lot shakier. Your screen's going to shake a lot more. Just kind of keep that in mind. And here, prime example, right? I'm trying to shoot down this UAV, but unfortunately it flies away. It's totally okay. You know, just kind of keep that in mind and it's going to make everything so much easier for you. <clears throat> um, Now on to the passive players. If you are a passive player, kill confirm may not be the game mode for you. I recommend you go over to Hardpoint. And the reason I say this is because if you're playing Hardpoint and, and, the, spawn, and the point spawns, you get 400 XP just for being on the point when it spawns initially. And let's say you, you don't get to the point on time, but the point's in a neutral position, then you can still go ahead and get um, 200 XP just for being in a neutral, for a neutral point, and you get, to, you get more XP for holding that point. And as players come towards a point and you eliminate players that way, you get more weapon XP. And I think it's way it's way more. This is like 20 or 30 more XP that you're going to get off, off the top of that just for uh, doing, basically playing the game mode and being a good teammate. Just a uh, things for you to keep in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, onto the aggressive player. This right here is the aggressive player's playlist. You're going to want to go ahead and hop into some uh, kill confirm and collect as many tags as possible, right? The reason I'm saying this is because you collecting these tags and give you more XP. And it's just a lot more chaotic. And teams typically hold together and kill confirm for whatever reason. I don't know why it's a thing like that, but that's usually how it works. So there's that. One thing you do need to understand is just like back in Black Ops 3, if you collect your own tag, you get more XP than just a regular tag. So if you know there's a sniper holding a lane down, it's okay to go let him pick you off two or three times and, you know, pick your tag back up that way. Totally okay. You don't have to be afraid of, you know, your KD because there's no there's no KD right now. And that's not two cares. You're, you're trying to get your weapons leveled up for whatever it may be, whether it's Warzone, you just want to get a camel grind done. You're trying to get this camel challenge done. Whatever it may be, just go ahead and get that done. And this was a prime example, right? I got a double kill. Super nice. You know, just take those with a grain of salt. Just get, don't focus on double kills, but just keep in mind that they do help with your leveling a lot, a lot faster. If you have any further questions or if there's anything I missed, please leave a comment down below. And uh, please, in the comments, you know, let me know what other videos you might have, what other tips you might have. I want to continue to make this like a, continu a con continuous uh, trend here on this channel just to help players that are casual become better or make their lives a little bit easier so that way they're not pulling their hair out trying to level up guns like this if you are enjoying the content i'm providing for you here please go ahead and do me a favor like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys later